have a ball. And then if you have a ball, you're, you're perfectly fine. So it's a paper towel roll to use for here. And sometimes we'll even put it into our low backs for some um, core work. If you have a ball, that's where we put it. And then if you don't have either one of those, then just take a bath towel, which is much larger than this towel that I have here. Take a bath towel and you can put it here and that works also. You can put it, whatever we use with the ball, you can use with your bath towel. So sometimes we go into grip strength work and this towel would provide me that tension. So don't worry if you don't have the uh, ball or paper towel roll. And then today we will use a hand towel, a little washcloth for hardwood floors. And then if you have carpeting, you can use straight plate. Oh yeah, and a sturdy chair. So if you've got some type of a chair or countertop or sink, couch, whatever you can hold on to, that would be good. Let's march up and then make sure that you have good space so you know you're not going to run into anything and you feel comfortable where you're at. And we're just marching. And if you need to hold the chair for support, even right here, just go wherever you need to and hold on. We're not going to work super hard. We're just going to move our bodies a little bit today. Lift into the feet. Good. Using your arms. Very nice. So let's move forward and back in a V step with your right foot. Up, up, and back. So up, up, and back. Up, up, and back. Good. Okay. Can we now open and close our arms? Open and close. And close. We got it. Super simple movement. Up, up, and back. Up, up. Do four more. Three. Two. One more. Hold center and just march again. So we're marching nice and slow. Using your arms. Then we'll go into that B step using your left foot. Make sure you have space. Ready, good. And up, 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 and back. You got it. Super easy. Arms out. In and out with our left foot, squeezing up. You got it. Good. Keep going a few more. Now let's go back to the center and just hold center and march. You got it. Let's do a little footwork, super easy. Just heel tap. So you're gonna go heel, heel, heel. Very nice. So we're just gonna take our heels out in front of us. And now let's take the toes and tap your toes. Toes tap, toes tap, toes. Good. Now let's do four toes tap and four heel taps. Toe, toe, toe. Ah! Four heel, four heel, two, four toes, four, three, two, now four heels, four heels, four, three, two, do it one more time. Four, three, two, now heels, four, three, two, and one, and then just march. Okay, very nice, super wide stride. So we're holding in a wide stride on purpose so we get used to feeling that. Big wide stride in our feet. And just kind of lift. Now we're going to lift. You got it. So we're lifting through the arms, tapping through the uh, legs. Very good. Now, hopefully, you have space to take your leg uh -huh, up and out. Up and out. Very good. Now, let's bring our arms, and you're kind of rocking now. Side to side, sway the arms up, sway the legs out. Whoa. So you're swaying up and swaying down. You've got it. Okay, can you do this? Opposite arms and legs. I don't even know if I can do it. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Opposite. Can you do it? I think I've got it. You're still in the swaying arms and swaying legs. Just hang out. Can you do the opposite arm and leg? Very good. A few more. Four, three, two, one. And then march center. Oh, okay. So marching center. 
Now tease your footwork again, just a little bit. So we're gonna go out, out, in, in, right. Out, 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 out. Opposite arms, she up. up, up. Left arm, right leg. Left arm, right leg. Left arm, right leg. Few more. Few more. Okay, one more. Okay, let it go. Mark center. Let's try the same thing. Using your left leg first. So you're gonna step out, 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 in, in. Out, out, in, in. So the tricky part here, where a lot of us kind of lose our, our momentum here or our placement, we lose our foot placement is by bringing this right foot in. Make sure you're bringing that second leg in. So you're going out, out, in, in, out, out, in. You gotta drag that right foot in now. Okay, opposite, opposite. Oh, 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 up. Okay, who wants to dance? Okay, hold march. Let's do the mambo step. So we're gonna turn it into a little bit of a deeper exercise. Okay, so we're gonna go into front foot, right foot mambo, looks like this. Forward, back, forward, forward. So all we're doing here is stepping forward and stepping back with the same leg, right foot, right foot. Forward, and then go back. Forward, and then go back. Your left foot is moving along, and it's just lifting. So the left foot, it just lifts. It stays in the same spot. We're gonna try the left side. Ready? In three, two, one. Now left, left foot forward. So today we're gonna take this movement and we'll move to the side with it. So notice you're taking your foot down in the front. Lots of work through the quads. The, the step here really is a mambo step, but we're using it in an exercise. So maybe try three more. Two more. Okay, now step center, out to the side. Step back and in. Out, sideways step. I think we've got it. So you're just gonna step out with the right, step out with the left, step out with the right, step out with the left. Can you take your arms up? I'm done. Okay. Now we're gonna speed it up. Speeding it up. Arms open and closed. And we're just gonna step in and out, in and out to the side. Pretty much it's like doing a side step. Okay, we got it. Okay, we're gonna bring the arms down. Keep going. Now let's add a little bit of some hip movement. Hip movement. So bring your arms down and use your arms. Any way you want. And I'm just taking my hips and I'm rolling through the hips. Rolling through the hips. Try a few more. So this is our little dance using our hips. Little movement today. We've got it. Okay, hold center and just march. Now let's see if our feet bigger and wider. Hamstring curls, so we're gonna pull back. Oh, taking the arms back from behind us. Let's change how we're using our arms here. So we're gonna take the arms behind you, leave them back. We're working through the back of our legs. That's your girl. Now let's lift through the arms. Left. I know it's kind of a brain teaser. It's kind of is. See if you can do it. I'll turn sideways so you can see. Okay, so I'm kicking my butt off or I'm trying to, and I'm pressing my arms up to behind me, and a press, a tricep press. Open your fingers big and wide, and lift up to the sky. <sighs> Can you do it? Keep pressing through the arms. Lifting the arms up. Few more. Okay, it should be kicking in my hand. You should be feeling like, okay, I'm done with this pretty quick. That's how you should be feeling. Now let's do 100 more. Ready? 100, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95. Just kidding. 94, 93, 92, 91, 90. Oh. March in center. 
Four things. Take a deep breath. We're going to some squat. If you have water, if you have a sip of water here, that would be good. So we're going to take our feet nice and wide. And we're just going to rock. But this movement can be challenging. So if you can do it correctly, so you're going to lift your a toes and the heels stay down. Then all I'm doing with my body is rocking side to side. That's it. Good. Drop and lift out. Drop and lift. Oh. So we drop and lift. Press your toes out. Can you go into a squat? We a squat. If you need to hold on to something, what I would do is I would turn sideways. Like so, say the chair would be in front of you, the support area for support's in front of you, or the wall, and you're right next to the wall, hold it on. Hold it. You know why I say that? That you might need support? Because we're gonna go on both heels. Okay. Let's come down and hold it. Hold. Make sure you're in a good position. Take a deep breath. Bring your arms out in front of you. So the arms are out in front. Cross up the wrist line. Open up. Turn your palms up. Oh. Open and close. Turn your palms up. Wiggle the fingers. Open up. And close. See if you can squeeze the shoulder blades back and down on purpose. So squeeze your back. Chest is out. Squeeze your back. Chest is out. Good. Okay, now bring your hands down. Let's lift through your right foot. So maybe you're able to do this, maybe not. Just try if you can. Need that support, hold the chair. Remember, it could be here. So your chair could be here, which is a lot easier and more comfortable to do. So the heel is lifted. Keep your heel lifted. Okay, 10 singles, down and up. Drop and lift. Two, three, four. Five, come down and up. Six, lift the heel up high. Seven, if you can. Eight, nine, good. Ten, okay, and then come down. Just rest. Bring the heel down. Just kind of rock if you want and rest. Now we're going to take up the other heel and lift. So we're going to do the same exact thing, okay? Ten singles. Knees are out super wide. Notice that my knee will be above the uh, ankle. So knees come out. So, really quickly, check your form. Are you here? Oh, do you look like a ballerina? Probably nobody looks like this, right? You know you should be wider than that. This is ballerina, we're not ballerina. Go bigger, wider, even wider than this. So I want to take my knee right over the ankle. You're still here. Ten singles go. Drop, lift, drop, two, three. Four, keep your heel up. Five, six, seven, try to keep the heel up. Eight, squeeze through your buttocks. Nine, chest out, shoulders back. And then ten, we'll bring the heel down and let it go. So we're gonna rock side to side, come in. Let's grab another sip of water. So I'm starting to feel hot and a little bit winded. So you might be feeling like, oh, okay, I think I'm working out now. Let's come front and center. So you're going to come into the heels under the hips. Squat again. Oh, slow squat. Concentrate on your form here. You're going to be perfect squat. Okay. So your knees are apart. Chest is out. Shoulders back. I'm going to try and exaggerate the movement that I'm showing you. So you can really see what I'm trying to do. Chest is out. Shoulders back, shoulders back. So if you're doing your squat and you're actually looking down like this, we want to be looking up. Make sure you're looking out at the world in front of you. Oh, we got the world in front of you. You're still in it. I wonder if somebody's been counting how many squats you've done. Maybe 30. I wonder if I'm right. Oh, a few more. Okay, and we'll just rest. Take some deep breaths. Walk in center. If you want to, grab a sip of water. So we're going to go into that narrow squat again. Like this. This is a narrow squat. You can always hold it here if you need to. But we're going to extend our leg into a kick. 
So squat, corner kick. Squat, corner kick. Squat, corner kick. So you're actually going to go from center, take your leg into the corner of the room, back down into the same spot. Okay, can we do it? Let's try. Shake out the shoulders. Let's do 12 seagulls together. Hands together. Here we go. Drop. Two, three, four, five, just to your best ability. Six, whatever you can do. Seven, eight, in the corner of your room. Nine, ten, that'd be your right corner. Eleven, twelve, and then rest, deep breaths, toes up. Okay, were you able to do that? Hopefully you could at least do maybe one or two. And then remember that in your form, it's whatever you can do to your best ability, right? So we're gonna take that same leg. We're gonna go straight out to the side in that narrow squat. The reason I'm having these narrow squats today, is this is the part that we're working on keeping the knees apart. So if you have a tendency to drop inward like this, or roll in, Work at keeping your knees strong, your butt back strong. So you're gonna squat, lift, squat. 12 times, you ready? Come with me here. Drop, lift, out to the side. Two, three, really good exercise. Four, notice your form. Five, six, seven, eight, good nine, 10, 11, and one more, 12, and then let that go, and just kind of march, okay. We have one more direction to use. This will help your low back. I'm gonna move my chair forward a little bit, because I'm gonna move forward a little bit. So this one is going to be squat, rear lift. Squat, rear lift. So whatever you wanna do with your hands, go for it. I can hold the chair, or I'm also able to let go and bring my leg up. Okay, 12 singles, however you need to do it. So you take your shoulders back. Remember, remember, you took my shirt in. Ooh. Your squat has your shoulders back, chest out, butt goes way back, and your knees are always behind the toes. Let me show you one more thing. You could have your knees in line with your toes, which I think, unless I'm mistaken, I'm looking at it. I think it's like right here. So this is okay. This, not okay. This is okay. And this is even better. Oh, okay, two singles. Rear, be, rear leg behind me. Set, here we go. Drop, lift. Two, three, four. Lift your back leg. Five, this is a lot of work actually. Six, seven, eight. Nine, really good work, you guys. Ten, raise the back leg. Eleven, by squeezing your buttocks. Twelve, oh, and then let it go. Okay, you can move your chair or your support, uh, whatever you're using for support. Your chair, your couch, move it away. Hold it here. Remember that first move was a narrow squat into a corner kick. Corner raise with that leg. So now you're gonna use your left side. Remember, it's all about what you can do. So, hands are together, shoulders up and down, but in a narrow squat. So avoid this, don't want that, or this, or I don't know, even more like bird legs. <laughs> you look like bird legs? Keep your knees close, stay strong here. Left corner with your leg raise, here we go. Drop, one, two, hold the chair, three, if you need to, Four, shoulders back. Five, six, seven. Can you do this? Eight, without holding the chair. Nine, and then land back. Ten, keep the knees apart. Eleven, oh, one more. And twelve, and let it go. Take deep breaths. Grab a sip of water here, too. I would just take a sip of water. Then we're going to go to the side. That squat, narrow squat. So one leg out to the side for twelve. Hold the chair if you need to, shoulders back. Okay, all right, set, heels into the hips, 
and go. Drop. One, two, three, four. So you go five at your own pace. Six, you can go faster. Seven, eight, and you can do way more than 12. Nine, if you're able. 10, good. 11, and 12, and let that go. Okay, deep breaths. Let's roll your shoulders. Okay. That rear legs behind you. So you know how to do that. You take your leg back behind you and up as high as you can, but squeeze your butt to lift the leg. So you're gonna go narrow squat, lift, hold the chair if you need to. Okay, 12 singles. Set, here we go. One, lift, two, lift. So I'm trying three, to squeeze my butt off. Four, when I lift. Five, get tall, six, get tall, seven, eight, nine, land back into it, 10, shoulders back and down, 11, your butt goes way back, 12, and then let that go, and just march. Good job, you guys, taking deep breaths. Okay, here's an exercise. I don't think we've ever done this one, me and you guys, me and all you guys, but we're gonna try. So it's a big series, of leg work, balance, and it builds strength in the whole leg, including your knee joint, because you're gonna be using your knee and your quad. So definitely have a chair for support if you need it. It's a big exercise, lots of breaths. So holding onto the chair and then you feel like, you know what, I don't need the chair, I don't wanna, I don't wanna hold it, you can let go. Then you can also hold the chair with one finger, which is, way less support than using your whole hand. It's very different, so just try with one finger if you need to, and see if that works. Okay, here's the movement. You're gonna drive your knee, your whole leg, into the floor with your toes lifted. So see how my toes are lifted? I'm gonna turn sideways. My toes are gonna stay lifted, soft knee on the supporting leg. You're just gonna drive down and press your leg through the floor. Then we go into circles. And the circles can be small, really small, or bigger, however big you want. But try to keep the circle going. We're even gonna go out to the corner into circles, okay? So that's a big challenge for the hip flexor muscle. Okay, let's start. Lift that knee, soft knee on your left, Come with me, I'm gonna count. You do as many as you can, there's 16 of them. Set, can you hear the music? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, now circles. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, big or small, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, in the corner. One, two, forward, three, four, five, six, corner, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, big or small, 12, 13, can you do it? 14, 15, now reverse your circle. One, two, three, four, reverse circle, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Front center reverse. One, two, try not to put it down. Three, four, five. Can you do it? Six, seven, eight, nine, reverse. 10, 11 circles, 12, 13, ah, 14, 15. One more, 16. Oh, okay. Hopefully you're doing what I'm doing. Oh, just letting it go. Okay, we take our chair or your support and go to the other side. So we do that whole series. No, on this leg. Okay, I'm starting to sweat now. So you're gonna take your left leg and draw it down through the floor. Heel goes down, toe is lifted, right? And your right knee is always soft. Hold for support or not. 12, uh, 16 singles. Here we go. Well, one, I almost said 12, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Sai một cái lưng vật đi Nào Chọn 11 12 13 14 15 Last circle 1 2 3 Big or small 5 8 8 Big or small circle 10 11 12 Roll it 13 14 15 Corner corner 1 2 3 4 5 Big or small 7 8 Big or small 9 10 11 Make a big circle 12 13 14 15 Now reverse 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 You reverse 11 12 Big circles 14 15 Front and center Go 1 2 3 I know it's hard 4 Five, make a good circle. Seven, eight, don't make a square. Ten, or a triangle. Eleven, twelve, no triangles. Fifteen, one more. Okay, let it go. Oh, take some deep breaths. Take some deep breaths, toes. Time. Let's take our arms up. So we're gonna just press. See if you can recover. Take deep breaths and just keep pressing your arms up. Oh, and then maybe march. This is a little bit of a brain teaser. Press the arms up. Okay, you guys. Grab some water and two weights. Two, two. You're gonna use two weights. Guys, we're gonna take our arms out and we're just gonna slip. Okay. See if we can balance today on one foot. Can we do it? Just a little bit of fun balancing. I know it's fun. So you have your two water bottles with two light weights. Saki on the left. All you're going to do is turn the water bottles, pour them out, then turn them behind you. Pour them out, turn them behind you. Pour them out and turn. Pour them down and turn. Pour them down. You got it. And we're not going fast. We're just doing the movement. Oh, lots of work through your shoulders and your upper back. I'm just going to this. So as you turn down and up, see how my arms are working? Turn. Squeeze now, squeeze your back muscles. Back muscle, look. Back muscle, squeeze. Back muscle, back muscle. Do four, four. Three, can you stay off your foot? Two, if you need to put it down, you can. One, oh my God, now. Okay, hopefully you felt that a little bit. Let's try the other foot. Gotta do the same thing. So soft knees to start, and then we take our left foot out. Bring the weight out and down. My arms are going to close in really quick. So we're already working. Okay. Open and close. Or down, back, and down. Back and down. Oh. Can you keep your arms up? Out to the shoulder line. And pour the water out. And then turn it back. Pour it out. Oh. Down onto the floor. Oh. Okay. I know. It's getting tough. Ah, a few more. Maybe two, just four. Ow, keep going. Three. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Two. You might be feeling it. Ow. Oh, God. That's total proof that I have not been doing those since this whole quarantine for three months. Oh, my God. Okay, roll for your shoulders. Okay. Let's take our both weights or both water bottles, and we're just going to step side to side. We're going to do a little bit of cardio. Then you guys, we're gonna sit in our chair, okay? So we've got two water bottles. Keep going side to side, just like I'm doing. You could just step like this. This is perfectly fine. What I want you to try to do is take the arms out in front of you. It's gonna make you work a little bit harder. Taking the arms out. Take the arms out. So you're here going sideways. Going sideways. But if you can, some of you are able, add a little bit of a hop. Okay, keep going. If you want your weights heavier, grab four water bottles. Oh, mine are small though. So these, I can hold on to four water bottles. I'm able to do that. You're still in this. You're still in it. Can you go for 10 more seconds? Nine, eight, seven, six seconds. Five seconds, keep on moving. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, and one. Oh, 
take deep breaths. You could put those weights down for a moment. Ah, oh, you take a deep one. And just roll. My heart rate got up. I wonder if anybody else's heart rate got up on that. Let's use now your one clock or your bigger plate for one set, and then we'll sit down. Let's do 12. If you need to hold the chair again, you can always do that. So back, out. You ready? Here we go. Back, arms forward, arms up. One, two, stay low. Three, and this is four. Oh, reach out high in front of you. Five, arms up to the side, six. Oh, seven, I might be off count. Eight, you guys are going, she's totally off count. Nine, 10, oh, 11, reach up high with your arms, front and center, and then out to the side, and then let that go. Good job, so you should feel a little bit of work in your butt muscle, in your legs, even your hips. Okay, so we're gonna come back again, hold the chair if you need to, and just use one arm. We're gonna go back, Back and then out for 12 singles. So our arms go here. One and out. Ooh. Two and out. Three. Good. Try to stay low. Four and out. Five. Out. Good. Six. Stay low. Seven. Reach. Try to stay low in your form. Eight. Shoulders back. And nine. Good, stay low. 10, Ooh. 11, I think we have one more. 12, and then let that go. Oh, good job, guys. Let's put that to the side. Grab your water, grab your paper towel roll, or your ball, I'm gonna get my ball over here. You have two things you're gonna use, okay? You have your weights for sure. And then you either have the ball, if you have a ball, if you don't have a ball, use your paper towel roll. If you don't have a paper towel roll, then you use your bath towel. That's why, this is why, again, we want it nice and thick, your bath towel. Okay, so I'll use the bath towel today, just in case a lot of us don't have the other. So just put the bath towel, ball, in between your legs, above your knees, sit on the edge of your seat. I'm gonna turn so you can see. Up in the front here, I'm sitting on the very edge so that when you look down, your legs are off. That's kind of important. So you're gonna be here. Let's take your heels up off the floor. So the heels are up. Heels are off the floor. Shoulders back and down, elongate your spine, bicep curls. And we're gonna work through our muscle, sitting in a chair. I love doing exercises in the chair especially strength training from the chair, keep going, because it's so effective. It is so effective. People think, oh, chair workouts, no benefit. We're doing a lot right here. Keep your heels up. Squeeze through the towel or your ball. So you squeeze the legs inward, keep the heels up and off, and the arms are coming into the body in a bicep curl. Notice that my elbows are actually turned in. My arms are out. <laughs> now go front and center. Here's the basic bicep. Okay, keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. If you wanted your weight to be heavier, right? Like you're saying, oh my God, these, these water bottles are too light. I can't use them too light. <laughs> Let me show you what you got. Here's your, here's your ball. Here's your ball. And your four, <laughs> your four water, you're still doing it. You're still doing it, don't let go, don't let go. Okay, 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 you can rest. But here's four light ones, and I can really feel there's a difference there. There's a difference. So let's keep your feet down. We're gonna go to tricep, stomach, and then you'll be done. 
So whatever size water bottle you have, medium ones, super light or none at all, take your arms back behind your head, and then you're going to extend up. Most of you do these with me standing, but we're going to sit. So sit tall, keep your shoulders down, squeeze the ball to the inside of your leg as you press up, press. Now keep working. I'm going to keep working, but I'm going to start talking and explaining. So you guys keep doing your work, okay? Sit tall, so you're in a tall position. The elbows point straight ahead in front of you next to your ears if you can. There's a lot of variations here. Squeeze through the tricep and the legs. Squeeze. Okay, now we're going to do a whole bunch of reps. Can you also squeeze your butt muscle? Butt muscle. Triceps are working. Squeeze through the legs and your butt muscle. Butt muscle. Okay, do six more. Five. Squeeze your glutes. Four, and the, the inside legs. Three, two, do one more. One, let it go. Okay, I totally do feel like I've been working out. Go ahead and put your weights down. So you don't have to bend over super far. You can kind of just drop them just like this. You're just going to be sitting, squeezing through your stomach. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Draw your stomach muscles. In towards the spine, exhale, inhale, exhale. So if you have the ball or um, a towel, I'm sorry, behind you, keep taking your hands up. We're all, we've all got our hands up. Hands up. And squeeze and exhale. Keep, keep going. Your leg. <laughs> lift through the leg. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. When you lift, exhale. <laughs> exhale. Keep squeezing through your stomach. It really works. See if you can do it. All right. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay, and let go. Let's start by taking our arms out. Put the towel behind you or beside you. Let's see if you can have some space between you and your chair. Keep the hands back. Shoulders back and down. There you've got it. And then let's come up, grab a hold of your forearm, bring your feet front and center, knees and ankles line up. Now pull your body up high to the sky, super high. And then lean over just a little. You don't have to go really far or deep, just a little and feel the tension because you're pulling up. Go back to the center slow. And bring the shoulders down. Let's try again. You can come up. Like you're on a torture stretching table. Lift to the sky. Reach over however far. You got it. Keep breathing. And then back to the center. Now lower the shoulders. Bring them all down. Bring them down. Oh, let's roll through our shoulders. Big right arm circle. Big. And then big left arm circle. Big. You got it. And then let's take our feet apart a little bit. Taking now your forearm again here. Let's turn and pull and round your spine. So we're actually stretching through your low back here. Draw the upper body away from you. Round your spine, squeeze your stomach and pull your core in and keep breathing. Stay at an angle, stay at an angle with me. And then you come back here like this. Stay tall, grab your arm. Now pull forward, round your spine, round your spine by squeezing your stomach. So your stomach is what's making you round through your spine. Keep the stomach pulled in tight. Keep breathing. And then come at an angle, stay at an angle. And come back, shoulders back, and just kind of hold. Good job. Okay, let's take one leg out in front of you. So try to keep the arm elevated and up. You want your heart and your head stay high and just switch. Just a couple seconds, do the damn thing. So we're gonna come forward. So the stretch here, you guys, is behind the leg. That's where you should feel it. Hold, second, you've got it. 
and then let's come up center. Let's roll through the shoulders again, and we're going to do a little chair twist. Taking your opposite arm, sit tall, shoulders back, chest out. So instead of maybe going like this and just turning, think about taking your shoulders back, elongate your spine, sit tall, chest out, and then turn back behind you. However far you can look, you're going to gently just look. Pull your stomach in tight. Can you pull in the core? And then slowly come out of that. Keep breathing. And then we'll go to the other side. Shoulders back, chest out. You're going to kind of slowly look behind you. Chest is out, shoulders back. Can you squeeze your stomach tight? And come back to center really slow. Very good. Let's come back to center. Hold the leg up, your right leg. Lean back a little bit. Just point and flex. Big circles here, both directions, and then we'll go to the other side. Point and flex, big circles, you've got it, rotate to the other side, and then we'll just kind of sit back in our chair. So let's sit back, maybe relax your arms against your lap, your hands. If you like, you can lower your head, and then if you want to, maybe look up and down. Up and down. You don't have to, but if it feels good and you want to, that's okay. Now let's roll side to side. Feeling good about moving our bodies today. We did a lot of balance. And then coming up, take your arms, cross your elbows, grab your shoulders. So we're going to hold on to our shoulders. So my shoulders are totally sweaty right now. So hold on to your shoulders. Close your eyes if you want. Relax the arms against your chest and just breathe. Imagine them being a big hug from someone you would love to see today or you would love to get a strong, supportive hug from. You're breathing nice and easy. Visualize this person in your mind's eye. And just holding on and hugging, feeling strong support. We'll finish up, you guys, by taking two deep breaths. So let's sit up tall, and we're going to draw our arms out and in, and then out. Take a deep breath through your nose. Inhale, oxygen into your muscles, into your lungs to repair, and then exhale, carbon dioxide out. Exhale all the way out, so you can't exhale anymore. You cannot exhale anymore until another deep breath. Deep breath through your nose. Fill your lungs, oxygen in. When you're ready, exhale, press out and down through your back muscles, press all the way through, and you are all done today.